job at the moment. It does have its benefits, you know, it pays reasonably well. Um, you do your job, if you do it well, you can forget about it. You don't have to take work home with you. It gives me the money, you know, to do what I want to do. It gives me the time to do what I want to do. But as far as being creative, dynamic, exciting job, no. I see security as a means to the end. I always carry a notebook around with me. The notebook just serves as a personal to-do list. Jot down the thoughts or ideas I have during the day. It could be anything. It could be drawing up some sketches or it could be actually building props, coming up with the flyers. You know, there's a list as long as my arm. So when I come home, it's just boom, straight into it. I first heard about Bellas when I was young, probably about 12 or 13. So I went and researched it and I found out it mostly involved women taking off, you know, a lot of clothing and that's all a 13 year old boy needed to keep his interest going. <laughs> It's how you take off your clothes. It's variety, it's vaudeville. And you look at classic ones where you've got the fan dancing, for example. A woman mostly comes out naked, and she, but she's covering herself with these two giant fans. But she's naked behind there, and that's the whole thing, you know? There's a naked woman in front of you. The only thing that's separating you is just fans, and she's moving them around. Oh, did I just see something? Did I, did, did I not? And that's the whole thing, you know? It's the tease element. My role could be anything from building props to training girls and you know getting their acts together from costume to you know coming up with lighting on the night, handing out flyers, I stage manage on the night, whether it's in pre-production, production or post-production, I'm the one there to help it just run smoothly logistically and creatively. I love the atmosphere, I love the people who I meet. But mostly what I love is you know girls taking off their clothes. We like to create new worlds, we like escapism. Uh, we encourage everyone to dress up, you know, we put an effort in to put on the place. We don't make money out of it, you know. Best thing about working at night is when the creatures come out to play. Uh, the worst thing, especially working in security and getting up at four o'clock in the morning, is sometimes I can work right on through. Sometimes like, a few weeks ago I was awake for almost five days straight when I was doing security and burlesque stuff. And yeah, it does take its toll sometimes. At the moment I kind of realise it's not a sustainable way of living, like I spend more money into the show than I make and and I know, I know it's not real, I'm, my, my head's firmly based in reality, I've got no delusions of grandeur, but it's something I have to do. If I didn't do it, that would be the torment, that would be the, you know, Heartache. And I do get depressed sometimes, but I get a lot more depressed if I'm actually not doing anything. When I am in the burlesque stuff, people see this larger than life character, you know, dressed in a suit, holding a cane, directing these beautiful girls, you know, so everyone wants to know you at that point, you know. So it's, it's quite interesting how there's the two sides of the coin of which is my security life and my burlesque life. <laughs>